Welcome back to the second part of the post-game press conference after the game Philippines against China. The final score in 96 to 75 for Team Philippines. I have with me now player Jordan Clarkson and coach Vincent Reyes for statements after the game. We start with the statements of both coach and player after before we open up the floor for questions. Jordan, congratulations on the win today. You've been one of the leading scorers in the tournament already. Now you were finally able to give your your country and the fans the win. How does it feel? Uh, it feels good. Like you said, it's been a you know a tough tournament, but you know we kept fighting, uh, kept competing, we kept playing. Uh, we really wanted to you know end this on the right note, uh, knowing. Uh, you know, we might not see the same guys in the locker room after this. Uh, but at the same time, we just, you know, wanted to show heart, fight, and uh, continue to, uh, you know, resilience. Thank you. Coach, your thoughts on the game today? Yeah, like uh, like uh, uh, Jordan said, we uh, just had two words in our board. We didn't have any X's and O's up there just be, be in our board before the game. We just had two words, dig deep. And uh, we reminded the players that um, uh, no matter the typhoon, the weather being essentially a no-bearing game, the, the crowd still came, Filipinos still came to watch. And uh, we said that we, let's gift them with a present. Let's, let's make sure that we end this with a gift for the Filipino people. Uh, for their continued belief and uh, their support uh, for the team. And so I said, um, you have to dig deep. To be able to do that, we have to dig deep. And that's what the players did. Um, every single one of them, uh, so proud. Um, uh, uh, fortunately, the result didn't come out as we expected, but to end with a win, uh, no greater feeling, no greater feeling. Thank you. I would like to open up the floor for questions in English first, if possible. Please state your name and the outlet you are working for. Um, can we get the microphone in the front, please? Uh, Martin Avier for or from GMA News. This one's from uh, for JC. Uh, Thirty-four points tonight. You were cooking, but I feel like we need to talk about that third quarter. I think you scored twenty points in under four minutes. Can you describe to us? Uh, what was going through your head when you were in that zone? Um, I mean, the basket, you know, just felt, you know, big at that point. Um, we got a good flow. I think all cup, um, you know, God's been hounding me. Um, been aggressive and, you know, not able to get free and um, get the shots and rhythm that, you know, I'm used to, used to taking. Uh, but in that third quarter, you know, my teammates was finding me. We started getting um, good screens, good looks, and um, just able to, you know, knock them down. Uh, and just the energy from the crowd, honestly. Uh, when you start hearing that, uh, as loud as it was, um, you know, it's kind of kind of hard to calm me down in that, that time. And, uh, you know, I stay hot. So uh, the crowd was just amazing. The fans was amazing. It was just so much energy in there, and we just really wanted to, you know, win and, and give them that. Uh, Louis Morales from Phil Star. Uh, question for Coach. Uh, Coach, we say it's a non-bearing game, but with the win, we're probably going to qualify for the Olympic qualifiers. Um, how does that, I guess, affect the overall look of the team after the World Cup? Uh, I really don't know. Uh, I don't know if I'm still going to be here for that. Uh, I might have coached my last game already as a Gilas Filipinas coach. So my, I really don't know. Do you have more questions? Yes, in a white shirt, third row. Thank you. Uh, hey, Jordan. Kobe from Slam Philippines. Uh, all throughout this tournament, whether you guys were up or whether you guys were trailing, uh, the crowd was screaming, was roaring every single time. Every time you guys got a stop or a bucket, what can you, uh, how big of a factor was the fans in you guys, you know, rallying throughout all of those games, whether the ones that you, you know, didn't come home with a victory and uh, now uh, against China? I mean, it was super big. Like, uh, 
coach said, uh, with everything going on, the weather, whatever it is, they came out here and supported us. And, um, you know, we wanted to continue to fight. We've been doing that all, all cup, uh, putting it out there on the line for the country and, and um, you know, just, just respect for our families and, and everything. So all of us gave, you know, over 110 percent effort and um, as the fans as well, packing the stadium, uh, being loud, supporting us. So um, that had a big part of us um, winning and, you know, pushing us, uh, pushing us to this last dub. Yes, one more question in the front, please. Hi, uh, Naveen Ganglani for Apple. This is for Jordan. Jordan, first of all, congrats on a great performance. For the next World Cup, you'll be about 35 years old. Um, <laughs> time flies <laughs> four years from now. But do you envision that you're going to have more games playing for the Philippines in international competitions? Considering the NBA schedule, considering how busy you are sometimes in the off season. What do you say? Asian games? Asian games? <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Right? But yes, um, do you think you'll still be playing for the Philippines in international competitions given everything? Thank you. Um, yeah, I think so. 35 ain't old. I thought uh, 30 was the new 20, right? <laughs> say, right? Yeah. So uh, I still feel young. Uh, I'm still out here competing. Um, I don't think that's my last performance in, in this jersey. I think um, I got more time and um, still can hoop. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I can't even tell you what I'm going to eat in the morning. Um, but, yeah, I mean, hopefully in, down the line when that time comes around again, I'm able to, you know, put this jersey on and represent the country. Yes, one more question in the middle. Can we get a microphone? Hi, Coach Trot. Uh, congratulations on the win. Uh, ben is from Radio Filipino Sports. Coach, to set things straight, are you stepping down from your position or it is a decision from SBP? No, I haven't heard anything from management. It is my decision. Um, I, Like everybody knows, I didn't apply for this job. I didn't volunteer. I was given this mandate. Uh, I had already retired from coaching the national team. And through all the through all the preparation and through all these times, I always said that you know judge us on the performance in the World Cup, regardless of what happened between the time I was appointed and today. I said judge us by a performance, and obviously we did not perform. We didn't perform, and like I said, the last game I take full accountability, and uh, because of that, I think it is time for me to step aside. Uh, I hate using the word resign because I'm not a quitter. I am not a quitter. Uh, I, I would just like to emphasize to everyone who is uh, asking for that. Uh, but at the same time, I, uh, I, I signed up to do a job and I did not, we did not deliver the result. So I think it's time to step aside and uh, allow the SBP to make a decision for the good of the team and the program. Thank you. Can we get a microphone over here for one more question? Coralie for Coach Chat, uh, Ivan from Dagot Philippines. So with that said, how would that affect your preparations for the Asian Games? I have no idea. I have no idea. Um, uh, I think it's time for somebody else. Uh, I think you all know you are all clamoring for some names. So, you know, uh, maybe it's time. Maybe one final question. Yes, here in the front, please. No, the gentleman in the stripes. Uh, coach, if in the event that uh, the SPB does uh, uh, select names, uh, is there any chance na that you will be part of that decision on decision <laughs> the selection, if ever? And subject myself to this again. Maawa na makay sa akin, di ba? It's just been brutal. You all know. You're, you're, you're on there. You're, you're part of it, right? So it's just been brutal. Never mind on me, but on my family and my loved ones, it's, it's just brutal. Uh, I will never turn my back to serving my country, but uh, there's a point where I just have to think of my health and my family, my family's uh, health uh, as well. So um, uh, like Jordan said, we don't even know what we're going to eat tomorrow morning. So, uh, you know, the, the, the future is very uncertain. Can we just 
Coach Inguilas, as you have said, you're going to continue playing, but um, any words for Coach Schott having being under him you know, all this time? Your reaction to that? I mean, I could just, just start off with one word, just respect. Um, like you said, he didn't hi, or apply for this job. You know, he didn't do that. He got chosen. And, um, you know, he's put it, put everything on the line, um, like you said, for his family and for the country as well. Um, you know, he's done a good job of rallying up all of us um, in the short times that we've been together, um, you know, trying to get, get stuff in and, um, you know, as quick as possible. So um, I just got, I got super respect for him. I've been talking to him since I've been, you know, young. Um, and we've been waiting for the opportunity to, you know, get together and, you know, playing games and uh, do this for a while. So all I got is respect for him, and uh, I tip my hat off to him if that's his decision at the end of the day. Um, but it's all love. Thank you. Thank you. Great closing remarks for today. Thank you very much for being here. This concludes the press conference. Thank you.